This lesson will cover the following topics. The injection management function. The injection phasing function. The idle speed regulation function. The injection management function controls the injection flow and advance. This function uses the following components. The engine flywheel sensor. The accelerator pedal position sensor and the injectors. The flywheel sensor is an inductive sensor. This sensor is located opposite a toothed target fitted on the flywheel. The sensor signal is used to determine the speed of rotation of the target and hence the engine. The toothed target also has one or more double teeth. This double tooth produces a special signal on the inductive sensor. This signal tells the computer the position of the crankshaft in relation to the cylinder top dead center. The accelerator pedal position sensor informs the computer of the driver's request. This sensor is a twin track potentiometer. The signals transmitted over the two potentiometer tracks are voltage signals which cross over each other as they rise and fall. The two signals ensure that the information is consistent. The injection computer compares the engine speed of rotation and the driver's request provided by the accelerator pedal position sensor. The computer then determines the amount of diesel fuel required to respond to the driver's request and for the engine speed. This quantity of diesel corresponds to an injector opening duration. The double tooth signal from the engine flywheel sensor allows the computer to determine at which point it must open the injector. The injector opening duration is corrected according to the following parameters. The diesel fuel temperature, the coolant temperature, and the battery voltage. The fuel viscosity is reduced with the temperature. The computer uses the coolant temperature signal to apply enrichment programming when the engine is cold. The injector power supply affects the actual opening duration of the injectors. The driver's request is ignored in the following cases. A request for a reduction in load by the ESP system. A torque reduction request by the automatic transmission computer. Or a load request by the speed limiter cruise control. The speed limiter cruise control function is built into the injection computer. The flywheel sensor does not have a defect mode. Any fault on this sensor will make it impossible to start the engine. An accelerator pedal position sensor fault may lead to a constantly high engine speed. Some systems use a knock sensor. The knock sensor is a piezoelectric type sensor fitted to the engine block. This sensor detects the real point of the pre-injection phase. This information allows the computer to reset the pre-injection phase depending on the wear status of the injection system components and the engine. The NOC sensor maintains the system performance level over a period of time. In this section we covered the following points. The injection management function controls the injection flow and advance. The flywheel sensor is used to determine the engine speed of rotation and the position of the crankshaft in relation to the cylinder top dead center. The accelerator pedal position sensor is a twin track potentiometer. The computer determines the amount of diesel fuel required to respond to the driver's request and for the engine speed. The injector opening duration is corrected according to the following parameters. The driver's request is ignored in certain cases. The flywheel sensor does not have a defect mode. Any fault on this sensor will make it impossible to start the engine. The knock sensor allows the computer to reset the pre-injection phase depending on the wear status of the injection system components and the engine. The injection phasing function is used to activate the injectors sequentially. This function uses the following components. The flywheel sensor, the cylinder reference sensor, and the injectors. 
There are two types of cylinder reference sensor. The Hall effect sensor transmits a square pulse signal corresponding to the shape of the target. The target may contain one or several raised target sections. The inductive sensor transmits a signal corresponding to the shape of the target. The target has several teeth. In both cases, the target is integral with the camshaft. The signal sent by the flywheel sensor is used to determine the top dead center of cylinder number one. In this position, cylinder number one may be at the start of induction or at the end of the compression phase. The signal from the cylinder reference sensor allows these two positions to be distinguished. The computer can therefore actuate the injector at the right moment and in the correct sequence. There is no defect mode for the engine flywheel sensor. In the event of a fault on the cylinder reference sensor when the engine is running, the engine continues to operate. In the event of a fault on the cylinder reference sensor when the engine is stopped, there are two possible default programming modes. The engine starts. The engine does not start. In this section, we covered the following points. The injection phasing function is used to actuate the injectors sequentially. Two types of cylinder reference sensor exist, the Hall effect sensor and the inductive sensor. The signals sent by the engine flywheel sensor and the cylinder reference sensor determine the exact position of the cylinders. The defect mode programs differ according to whether the engine has stopped or is running. The idle speed regulation function is used to adjust the diesel fuel flow required to maintain the engine idle speed. This function uses the following components. The flywheel sensor, the accelerator pedal position sensor, the coolant temperature sensor, and the injectors. Idle speed regulation is active when the computer receives the no load signal. This information comes from the accelerator pedal sensor. The accelerator pedal position sensor sends the no load signal to the injection computer. Idle speed regulation is activated. The computer injects a certain amount of diesel fuel in order to maintain the engine idle speed. The computer compares the engine speed coming from the flywheel sensor to the programmed speed. The computer adjusts the quantity of injected diesel fuel to obtain the programmed engine speed. The coolant temperature affects the programmed speed. The idle speed is increased when the engine is cold. Other parameters may affect the programmed idle speed. On certain systems, if the battery voltage is low, the engine idle speed is raised to increase the alternator charge. The idle speed is also increased to prevent the engine from stalling in the following situations. High power assisted steering pressure. The engagement of a gear on a vehicle equipped with an automatic transmission. Or air conditioning compressor activation. In the event of a fault on the accelerator pedal position sensor, the injection computer controls the engine to run at a constant high idle speed. In the event of a coding error when calibrating the injectors, the engine idle speed is a little higher. A coolant temperature sensor fault may lead to an unsuitable programmed engine speed. In this section we covered the following points. The idle speed regulation function is used to adjust to the diesel fuel flow required to maintain the engine idle speed. Idle speed regulation is active when the computer receives the no load signal. The computer compares the engine speed coming from the engine flywheel sensor to the programmed speed and adjusts the amount of diesel fuel injected. Various parameters can affect the programmed idle speed. In the event of a fault on the accelerator pedal position sensor or a coding error when calibrating the injectors, the engine idle speed is increased 